browsing your autograph collection, are we, cool data czar? Indeed. I have everyone from Andrew and Android to Zazik Zazazar. There's just one name I'm missing. We are not about to beam down on our Stanley for an autograph. Worried we'd cause panic, coordinator Zai. I'm worried I'd embarrass myself like that time I met. <gasps> Lambo Zantax. <laughs> and all I managed to ask him was what his favourite shape was. I have so many things I want to ask, Danny. Can't we teleport down? J just, just for a bit? It would contravene galactic law. Besides, why would someone as glamorous as Danny be interested in a pair of nobodies like us? I suppose you're right. Mm. She is so very glamorous. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey guys, I'm just rehearsing my new role in Macbeth, the musical. I'm only understanding one of the witches, but I'm so excited. Max! You look different, Danny. Have you had your hair done? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Well, I was aiming for your backside. What are the chances of missing that? <gasps> Keep out of Dannyville, frog spawn. So I'm hoping the theatre people don't need me tonight because I'm stuck here looking after my evil little brother. Oh, please do not be bad news. Hello? You won't believe this. <laughs> what? You've got something on your face. Gone? The actress I'm understanding has broken her leg and they need me to take over. That's great news. Yeah, hopefully going to broke a leg. It's a nightmare. This is the big break you've been waiting for. Yeah, literally. I can't do it. Mum and Dad said I have to look after Max again. We can look after him. I wouldn't inflict Max on my worst enemy, let alone you two. What's the worst that could happen? Are you sure you don't mind, Sam? Of course we... <laughs> <laughs> don't mind. Thanks, guys. My big chance to tread the boards. <laughs> Thank you. This means so much. You are too kind. Thank you. Thank you. I love the theatre, darling. Excuse me. That's all well and good, but this is an operating theatre. Get it? Oh, I get it. It's just an awful, awful joke. Is that really the best you could come up with? Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself. I have the worst daydreams. <laughs> Mars, the Milky Way, all those galaxies. But enough about your eating habits. Tell me, what is the one thing you won't find in space? Geese? Intelligent life, Ben. There is no intelligent life in space. <gasps> What did he say? Thinking about it, there isn't much down here, either. Pardon, Max? I said there is no evidence that aliens exist, but that doesn't stop certain foolish individuals from believing they're real. And we're going to make the most of that stupidity by becoming rich. Then, very rich indeed. Max, help. It's stuck on tongue. <laughs> I am not equipped to look after that monster. I'm a DJ, not Mary Poppins. If we treat Max with respect, he'll soon see things from our point of view. OK. I'll buy you a pizza if you can get to the end of the day without yelling. Yelling should only be used as a last resort. We'll see, shall we? <coughs> not touching that. Deal. That's sending a car to come get me. Are you sure you can keep Max under control? The house would be exactly as you left it. Max just needs to be respected. Do you know Oliver Grove? I sit next to him in mass. He gets annoyed when I have TV theme tunes. Stop that. <laughs> Oliver also happens to be the president of the School UFO Society. I didn't even know there was a School UFO Society. Till last week, you didn't even know there was a toilet. All those years coming to school with a plastic bottle. <laughs> Oliver's so convinced that aliens exist, he's offering £10,000 of his rich father's money as a prize to anyone who can find evidence of alien life. But if aliens don't exist, nobody's going to win the money? Unless somebody smart can fake an encounter. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Ben? I don't know. Were you thinking of an octopus in a pink tutu? 
I'm thinking we're the ones who are going to win that money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why we're laughing. <laughs> Break a leg, Danny. That's what got us into this mess in the first place. It means good luck, Jack. Oh, well, in that case, break your leg, your neck. <laughs> break every bone in your body. Bye, guys, and thanks again. We'll make sure Max behaves himself, even if it kills us. Which you probably will. And the house will be exactly as you left it. I promise. See you later. Bye. Bye. So you're my babysitters. Think of us as your new best friends. If you were my friends, I wouldn't have asked Ben to glue your feet to the floor. <laughs> Hello there. Why would you do that, Max? So you can't interrupt the meeting. What meeting? A meeting of our school UFO society. I said they could use Danny's den. Really? You should have got permission from... <laughs> Shh. <laughs> I don't bother you, and you turn a blind eye to whatever I get up to. But I promised Danny. What Danny doesn't know can't hurt her. We're always up to something. Way to go, babysitter. Max! Max, come back here! Ooh. Ow! <laughs> what are you doing, coordinator? I'm recalibrating the teleport. The last time we used it, you materialised inside of a whale. Lord. And I'm never eating seafood again. Oh. And, um, I was thinking, hmm. what with Max and Ben so keen to meet an alien, I thought it might be our chance. We are not going to Danny's house. Well, we'd be the first of our kind to meet real humans and get Danny's autograph at last. No, 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 no. I won't let it happen. But think of the wisdom we could share. We could give them the cue for the common cold and they could give us the recipe for scotch eggs. Not going to happen. But we get to meet our TV heroes. If our superiors were to find out we went to Earth deliberately... Well, we'll have to do it by accident then. Oops! What a car! <laughs> Face painter should come handy. Um, Max? Hi. Hello. Sorry to interrupt, but just wondering what you were doing. We're looking for Danny's video camera. Why do you need Danny's video camera? We're going to fake a close encounter with an extraterrestrial. And why are you going to do that? To win a lot of money off some silly idiots. <laughs> so unless you can find a real alien for us to film, you can keep your big hooter out. OK. But you will replace Danny's video camera and put the room back the way you found it, won't you? Do I look like a mug? And if you could save me a job and slam the door in your face on the way out. Is this it, Max? Good work, then. <sighs> I have to do everything myself. <laughs> ah! ship before we have a close encounter immediately. Um, sorry, coordinator. The air teleporter takes several hours to recharge. You mean we're marooned on Earth? <gasps> Look, it's the actual sofa Danny sits on. Oh, it's still warm. <laughs> we can't be discovered. Humans aren't ready for first contact. Plus, we might catch some horrible Earth disease like... World Cup fever or Lady Itis! <laughs> <laughs> this place is a death trap! What was that? It's the cat from hell! Run away! <laughs> Must be Max breaking more of Danny's stuff. He's probably just burning energy. He'll, he'll soon stop. Oh, he'll just carry on until he's trashed the whole house. Unless you want to step in, that is. I'm not yelling at him. Maybe I could give him what he wants. And what does he want? He wants to meet an alien. <laughs> right, and where do we find one of those? That way is far too dangerous. It's OK, come on, Ryder. I think he's gone. 
How can you be sure? Because he's outside chewing on a postman's face. <laughs> Have you seen this? Humans. Such strange customs. Hmm. I found one. A singing telegram company that does an alien gram. Why are you helping him? Because he thinks I found him an alien. If he gets what he wants, he may stop and put Danny's camcorder back before it gets broken. Yeah, that plan doesn't remotely sound doomed to failure. Tatu Bantu humans, I have fed you the third from the planet Benny Max. I want to suck out your brains and lay an egg in your head. Waka waka. Cut. No. What is that meant to be? I'm being an alien. Aliens should display a superior intellect. How do I do that? Fair point. Action. Waka waka. I wonder if we'll get caught up in some crazy adventure. We're not here to get caught up in anything. Our mission is to watch humanity from afar. But imagine how much better we'll be able to do our mission if we get up close and personal with our favourite TV stars. <laughs> we can't let that happen. Only because you're too chicken to meet them, hmm? 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 <laughs> the alien grams. That was quick. How's your game? We're just glad you're here. You... you are? Oh, but you get sweaty in those funny costumes. <laughs> funny costumes? I spent two long, hard weeks at the Cosmic Academy to earn my right to wear this shiny galactic regalia. Well, it's very impressive. You almost look like real aliens, <laughs> apart from the lampshade. Almost? You don't believe we're real aliens? Well, the distance between solar systems are so vast that interstellar travel is unlikely to be a reality. Regardless Sam, of... they're not here to listen to a lecture from the internet on Lex. They're here to fool your precious little Max. You want us to fool Max? Oh, actually, she means, um, um, uh, who's Max? I just knew we'd get up to something. Tantu Bantu, our cosmic destroyers are in orbit around your pitiful planet. Soon, we shall invade and destroy all! Ah! But, no, 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 forget it. You're the worst fake alien ever, Ben. Might as well kiss that £10,000 prize goodbye. I did my best, Max. All I want is to be stinking, filthy rich. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of... Stinking Filthy Rich! <laughs> Thank you. Our contestant tonight is... Miss Bronwyn Cheesewinder! Hello, Bronwyn. Uh, let's bring on the stinkers! Now, you know the rules. Sniff our stinkers and work out which one is the millionaire. Get sniffing! What are you getting, Bronwyn? Peacocks frolicking on a croquet lawn. <laughs> the scent of pirate swimming pools. The tan of a platinum credit card. Rich. OK, and our next potential millionaire? Oh, what is that? Sounds like he lives in his own filth. Oh, poor. <laughs> OK, can the millionaire please reveal himself? <laughs> he stunk. Stunk of pig manure, Bronwyn. That's right. Pig manure. This is Mr. Guido Gilly, a millionaire pig farmer. I'm afraid that's all we have time for tonight. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye bye. Away. <laughs> so you want us uh, to pretend to be aliens so that your friend's brother wins a prize? Even though we're not aliens. <laughs> we can't go through with this. They think we're humans pretending to be aliens. The more humans we encounter, the more likely it is we get found out, especially if we're being filmed. So, the teleporter will recharge in a while and we'll be gone. <sighs> Sorry about that. We'll be happy to help. Mm -hmm. Great. You're really going to save my neck. What a peculiar expression. <laughs> You've never heard that before? Well, not where we come from. Oh, where's that? Uh... Um... Uh, Barcelona. Wherever that is. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, didn't get run over on the way here, I see. Uh, Daddy's driver brought me here in the limo. I suppose your parents drive you around in their horse and cart. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, um, is everything still on for our UFO Society meeting? Oh, yes. I have a feeling somebody might be winning your prize for proving aliens exist. Oh? Let's just say I may have come into possession of a video you might be interested in. Oh, is it aliens? Is it a UFO? You are going to be blown away. Oh, this is massive, Max. I must tell the others. <laughs> Bye, Oliver. Why didn't I just tell him the truth? I failed, Ben. I thought that reward money was ours for sure. If only your alien act had been more convincing. Jax, you provided us with the lights and a smoke machine from his DJ room. Yeah, I can still get the bubble machine. Ready? Ready! At least you've managed to turn me into the Incredible Hulk. I've never felt so powerful. Thanks. What's going on? Greetings, Earthlings! Take us to your leader! I've always wanted to say that. We have come from across the stars to deliver a message. Max, it's aliens. Real life aliens. They've come to probe us. <laughs> They're not aliens, Ben. I mean, look at their rubbish costumes. You're a more convincing alien than these two losers. Tantu, Bantu. <laughs> come on, Ben. Let's go. What? Ben. Max, I was only trying to help you win that prize money. You're trying to make a fool out of me by getting me to believe aliens are real. And just for that, I'm going to go and break something of Danny's. Max, wait! Let's hope you break something cheap. That sounded expensive. After all that excitement, I'm sweating like an actor in Bog Weasel. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> oh, I hope you get your costumes off. Oh, no, it's oh. OK. Ah, uh, ah, uh, really, you don't have to do that. Please, it's actually right. quite painful. Ah! Uh, Sound a bit tight, isn't it? It would be. Ah! Uh. <laughs> These aren't costumes. You're aliens. Real aliens? In Danny's house. Um... Yes. <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> so much you could teach us about the universe. Are there other species out there? What star system do you come from? What sort of propulsion system do you use? Why are you even here? Well, we're sort of fans of the show. <laughs> I'm famous and out of space. <laughs> so you're just fans? Well, I'm Coordinator Zhang, and this is Coordinator Zuck. <laughs> just wait till Danny hears about this. Danny can't know anything about this. About Max Boren, her camcorder, about the UFO meeting, or the fact that there are two alien fans in her house. <laughs> I promise the house will be exactly as she left it. Oh! That'll be Max's UFO expert friend. Um, what if the experts can tell we're real aliens? <laughs> they might sell us to experimentation. Or dissect us. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing Danny needs is alien entrails all over the carpet. Oh, quick hide! <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I've got a better idea. <laughs> That's the best disguise you can come up with. We have a meeting in here. Max, who are these green people? Just a pair of jokers in rubbish costumes. Uh, they're my uh, Uncle Alan and Auntie Ellen. They heard about your meeting and uh, asked if they could come along. They better not disrupt our meeting. I want to watch your alien film without any disruptions. <laughs> And I spotted this UFO whilst collecting my ear medicine. It looks more like a plane. See the tube-shaped body and the two lateral protrusions? Also known as wings. <laughs> Clearly, it is a UFO from somewhere beyond our understanding. Or Heathrow Airport. The image does resemble the outline of a Raxian battle cruiser, I suppose. Don't you think, Coordinate? <laughs> Alan? Not that I know what a Raxian battle cruiser looks like, of course, because I'm not an alien. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James. Another UFO. Which just happens to look like a bird? It has taken on the appearance of a bird as a form of camouflage. Max, 
I said I didn't want any disruptions. Perhaps we should take a break for nibbles then, Oliver. Fine. And when we resume, we can watch your video. Wait until you see what James has made. He's cut the sandwiches into shapes of flying saucers. Oh. Hmm. What is this food? Jam. What's wrong? Where we come from, jam is a foul-smelling paste excreted from the rancid bile glands of our mighty emperor. Where'd you come from? Uh, Barcelona. Barcelona. Tastes fine to me. Where's the ketchup? <laughs> You're being too alien. Act like everyone else. Be normal. Be normal? I see. Um, I, I also um, love ketchup, for I, too, am a normal human. <laughs> Look how normal I'm looking. I'm normal, everyone. Normal, I say. Oh, that's, that, that's just my, um, my, uh, what do you call it? Mobile phone? Yes, my mobile phone. Um, I'll uh, just see what it wants. What do you want from me? What do you want, mobile phone? And I'll go check up on my video. What are you going to say to Danny if she comes in now to find her camcorder missing, her bedroom ransacked, and a bunch of geeks in her den? Oh, not to mention two real aliens in her house. Surprise? Almost recharged. I shall let coordinators I know we can return to our spacecraft. <laughs> what spacecraft would that be then? Um, spacecraft is our pet name for our um, pet flamingo. Give me that. <laughs> this isn't a phone. Please be careful, it's a very sensitive piece of equipment. So you are an alien? No. Maybe. Yes, I am. What do you call it? If Oliver's dad's going to cough up ten grand for a video of an alien, imagine what he'd do for a live specimen. But I'm not for sale. Wait! Let go of me! <laughs> oh, no. Who can tell me the one thing better than video footage of an alien? Catching a pony. The one thing better than film of an alien is, of course, an actual alien. And what is better than one actual alien? Are you trying to tell us that you've captured an alien, Max? Two aliens, in fact. Shall I start the bidding at 50,000? <laughs> Max, my aunt and uncle aren't aliens. <laughs> of course they are. Look at them. They're green and stuff. So is Ben. So are lettuces. <laughs> you saw him eat all that ketchup. No human can do that without being sick. Jack? Show him. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> well, Max? I, I caught this one using some sort of alien device. She was probably preparing to wipe our minds. There are worse things they could wipe. Ben, you're not helping. Come along, boys. We're leaving. Hey, Oliver! Sir, I'm telling the truth! Oliver, please! Please! You have to believe me! I'll be sure to tell the rest of the UFO community about this, just in case you try to con anyone else out of their money. But I was telling the truth! Better look next time, Maxie boy. I'm sure the government would be very happy to get their hands on a couple of live aliens. I'm sure you two would look great in a specimen jar. I have had enough for one day. I beg your pardon? Aliens, rudeness, wrecking Danny's bedroom. There's only so much I can take. Ooh, what are you going to do, Sam? Ask me nicely to stop. No. I'm going to tell you to stop. And if you don't, you are so for it. So leave our two alien friends alone, go and clean up the mess in Danny's bedroom, put her camcorder back, and then go to your room! All you ever had to say was please. <laughs> Come on, Ben. 
Let's go and do as Miss Shouty Pants says. Would now be a good time to mention you're not going to get your pizza. <laughs> when the power reaches 100% on the teleporter unit, we shall return back to our spacecraft. There were so many things that I never got to ask. Like, is time really relative? Have you mastered anti-gravity? Do you use social engineering to create a truly peaceful society? And do you have as little clue what she's on about as I do? Such a shame we never got to meet Danny. Just as well. If she knew half the things that were going on around here. Hi, guys! Matt! How was Matt? What the... Who... Who... Who was... Who were they? Coordinator. <laughs> Now's your chance to say everything you wanted to say. Go on. No, you go on. I can't. Me neither. I'm too nervous. <laughs> uh, Danny? Yes? What's your favourite shape? <laughs> so, how'd the show go? <laughs> Aren't you going to explain to me why there were two aliens in my living room? Did you believe this is all a dream? There were two real-life aliens in my house! They disappeared right in front of my eyes! <laughs> Greetings, earthlings. Another one? I can't believe it, a real-life alien in my house! This is amazing! Did you come here in a flying saucer? Uh, no, but 47, boss. I'm the alien gram you ordered. What? <laughs> and we still didn't get Danny's autograph. Perhaps we should return Coordinator Zark and properly introduce ourselves to Danny. There's no way I'm going back down there while Max is still at large. Mm, you're right. Earth is far too dangerous. Shall we use the amnesia ray to make the humans forget we ever existed? Nah.